there for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Yes, uh, it looks like I'm in the garage. I <laughs> recognize the green chair, right? Uh, yeah, today's the day. I said that by the end of summer, which is past now, we're already in the fall, I was going to uh, fix and redo the garage doors. Um, this is not a massive repair. It's very obvious the garage doors need to be completely replaced. We just can't afford it right now, so I have to do patchwork, <laughs> which is most of what I do anyway, uh, due to lack of funds. So we're looking at garage doors that have peeling paint. Obviously, they need to be repainted. The seal at the bottom needs to be replaced and I have a hole on one side that needs to be patched. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of exactly uh, what needs to be done. I have the whole weekend to do that. Um, it's not going to be difficult work, but it's work, I have to be honest, I am totally not motivated to do. I have been trying to procrastinate this task forever. But now that I have the property pretty much cleaned out and the blacktop is finished and all of that, um, with the siding on the house, the garage doors are an eyesore. So they need to be, at the very least, repainted. Um, so let me give you a tour of what we're talking about and then uh, dive right into it. I know that some of you have asked about the blacktop. Uh, it rained last night, so it's still a little wet. Um, on the driveway but yeah we finished the whole thing in the meantime here's uh, the garage door so we got the one on the right and the one on the left which is the one that really needs to be fixed but anyway let me show you what we're talking about here I got peeling paint so all of that's got to be uh, removed and then I got to redo the caulking on the edges the bottom part here is not too bad Scott is going to the Home Depot for me right now and he's getting all the stuff that I need including uh, garage door grease uh, so that we don't hear that noise <laughs> when we open the garage. Alright, the old seal obviously has to be removed so he's getting uh, a new seal as well so I have to work on that, all of this stuff. Uh, this is our side of the garage that's gardening and whatever. It's a big mess, I know. My side is not too bad, but this door here is the one that needs the most work. There you go. Up here you go. So that's my side. This is the side where all the stuff is up for sale. Um, I still have the green chair in here. And I sold quite a lot of stuff actually last week on the Facebook marketplace. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still have an empty space here so I can move around. This one door, same thing. This whole seal here has to be redone. It's really, really in need of sanding and patching. And then there's a hole right here at the bottom. So there's not a lot that I can do without having to replace the entire panel. Um, I went to the store and I asked them how much a whole panel is and they said it's about $400. That's a no. So what I plan on doing is putting a piece of wood behind it with liquid nails and uh, put clamps to hold it to make sure it's secure, caulk it, and then on this side here fill it up with a heavy duty wood putty exterior wood putty a really really good one for repair and then kind of reshape the whole thing and then get sanded caulked and repainted and the whole door gets repainted as well i know it sounds like um, a waste of time but again i can't really replace the panel so you see how you can see daylight here right all of this is going to get recalked and then i'm going to have uh, wood panels here and maybe not on this side but definitely here to cover all of that uh, gap right here so it's a repair patch work it's not going to be brand new looking doors but at least they'll be painted and then eventually um we'll replace them i mean they're still working clothes and everything they uh, we have a key they can be locked they are not um, on an electric opener, they are manual. All of this here needs to be lubricated so it makes less noise. 
um, they still work so why replace them now I just got to do a little bit of aesthetic I guess what I'm trying to tell you here is that sometimes you just got to work with what you got okay so we just can't afford right now to have new garage doors so what am I supposed to do leave a gaping hole at the bottom of my garage door no I have to fix it first of all from the street you can see the garage doors it's really unsightly um, I hate looking at them because everything else has been done the garage has been sided last year um, it didn't need to be painted but you just can't paint a hole <laughs> so it's got to be repaired uh, we'll see maybe it worked maybe it doesn't maybe it only works for one season or two season um, I'm hoping that financially by next year we can replace them and have electric openers um, but yeah so first things first I have to get the um, pliers and I have to work at removing the seal underneath it and then we'll start sending so I don't know if you can see because um, I'm kind of backlit but anyway I'm removing with pliers the leftover of that seal That was placed in with big nails so once the nails are exposed then I'll take the hammer and remove the nails and this is not hard to remove it's basically falling apart right now so I gotta do that through the whole door see and then replace it So I removed all the seal on one door and discovering that those nails are actually staggered. You see there's one up, one down, one up, one down. So I'm going to remove all the nails. I'm getting self-taping screws um, for the new one. Uh, one piece here that's still hanging around. Uh, let's see if I can remove those nails. So let's see. Oh wow, these have been here for a minute. There we go. And they look like one inch. So I'm getting one inch taping screws that should do it. So I'm collecting all the nails um, because the last thing you want is one nail to go into your tire on your driveway. So make sure you collect all your nails. Alright, I'm going to start scraping off paint using a regular scraper. sun is finally up. Um, I'm going to root Goldberg this whole thing because I don't want a hole, right? <laughs> so I have a piece of wood and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put a piece of wood right here. Now I'm going to add C-clamp um, because I'm going to glue it with the liquid nail. All right, 
And then when we get to the other side, I'll show you what I'm doing because it's going to involve uh, creating wood out of other piece of wood in the shape of this. Crazy, crazy. All right, we got uh, 13 and a quarter. I'm going to cut that by hand. Okay. All right, so this goes right here. Let me get the liquid nail. This is called liquid nails heavy duty. Uh, extreme heavy duty construction adhesive. I'm gonna use my gun here. Cut this. And use my little thing here to break the seal. Okay. And I already kind of cleaned that up um, with um, a brush. So I'm going to do a very generous amount of that liquid now. I'll put some here too. And put that back in. Okay, so that only takes care of a portion of the hole though. Now, how do I make sure that this stays put? C-clamp. So, I put this one here, and that's gonna be my clamp. Let me put it this way so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and the only reason why I'm putting this here is so that I can apply pressure to my wood I don't want to apply too much because then what it does is that it's pushing this panel forward. Right. So it's holding it and pushing it against this. I'm going to leave it like that for quite some time. It's got to dry. Now, what am I going to do on the other side? Let's figure it out. All right, so now from the front, you can see that I have this whole piece here that has been uh, filled up. But now I have this piece here that's missing. So I'm going to use some of those and I'm going to stack them like this um, in order for them to reach the same level almost to this. I'm gonna cut them, they're all gonna get glued together and it's going to somewhat patch this area here. Or I could just leave it hollow and close here, do the same thing in the back, and then add pieces on top of each other like this. Up to here, so that it kind of um, joins the two pieces, the old one, and this and then with the putty I have less putty to put in and less risk of stuff being deformed so this is exactly what I'm gonna do this one unfortunately is gonna have to stay this way so I'm gonna cut it here I'm gonna glue that on and then I'm gonna add a stack of little pieces on top of it and then I'll putty it from the back because it's a smaller area so by the way these are paint stirrers you know that you get from uh, the Home Depot So my hope here is that once I have the putty, I can reshape the whole thing. But right now, I got one piece here, and add another one. Oops. I'm going to need my clamps. Okay, here.
this is door number one and everything has been puttied if that's even a word and all I have to do after that once it's all dry is sand it again then do the caulking around each corner and frame and then at the bottom this is what it's looking like right now you see it's kind of patched I'm waiting for this to dry so I can add another layer to fill up that little dent right here I'm always gonna have this t-bone thing here once it's painted you won't even see it but at least imagine once it's white the whole will be patched um, I need to clean all of this and move on to the next garage door same process I have to scrape the paint it's not a lot for some reason this one is not as damaged as the other one um, and then putty there's no hole no repair needed on this one so it's gonna be going really really fast but it's starting to look a little bit better so it's almost uh, six o'clock I just cleaned up the whole black top because I had dirt on it and I didn't like that and garage door on the right garage door on the left all I have to do now is resand caulk and paint um, yes there is caulk and stuff on the floor that's easily scraped off not a big deal so this is what it looks like and I gotta be honest it's looking pretty much better well because it's looking brighter so you can visualize what it's gonna look like once it's bright white this one wasn't too hard that's the reason why I did it last because I knew I could do it faster now the reason why I'm putting the putty it's not just so much to fix the wood a little bit because the wood is old and warped or whatever it's also because I want it to look nice and smooth once I paint um, is it going to be perfect? No, because I am fixing a very old door. I think those doors are from, I don't know. Um, it's a new lock, I know that. I think maybe the doors are from the 60s, I'm not sure. But my little piece here is, uh, once it's all white, you won't see it. Well, you'll see that it's a little bit different from that, but there will be no hole. and. Um, that's great that's great from the back at least when you come in you won't see a big black hole in the garage door so I'm looking forward to seeing them painted it's supposed to rain early in the morning but then it's gonna be a nice day so we'll see and then I'll clean the windows so yeah I think it's a good job and here it is from the kitchen window and you see the deck is all nice and uh, cleaned out um, black tops done, garage doors are about to be done, vegetable garden, secret garden, the trench all the way in the back over there, the front door, the front porch, all of the gravel. We did quite a lot this year, <laughs> quite a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, it takes time and I can only do the best I can with what I have, which is weekends, that's it. But I'm pretty happy. So that's it for this video. Tomorrow, hopefully, it's not. I, I think I got stuff all over, don't I? No. Nope. No? Okay. Uh, tomorrow, it's supposed to rain early in the morning. I don't think it's going to rain all day. Um, if it is, I have to come up with plan B, <laughs> which is doing something else. Uh, I know I got to color my hair. I just got a Madison Reed kit and I want to try it so maybe I'll do that if it's raining and um, some cooking do you want some cooking tomorrow oh. Oh. well not baking uh, maybe <laughs> both all right maybe both obviously you cook? Uh, I don't know I got a vintage recipe okay, okay Jackie Jackie sent me a uh, electric plate for corningware and um, super excited and I scored, well I scored, I found on the internet the original pamphlet that comes with it and it has recipes from 1972. So I think I might do that tomorrow as well, do a vintage recipe on the electric um, table ranch or ranch tabletop, whatever they called it, 
in my corning wear and uh, but that's if it's raining because if it's not I'm outside finishing the garage so maybe hair color and cooking tomorrow we'll see hey guys I'll see you later remember it's your property you gotta love your property pride in ownership I love my home I love my property yeah I complain about the water and this and that and the other but I enjoy doing this stuff um, and I said I didn't want to do it and you know what by the time I was done removing the strip that was at the bottom I was already all perked up and ready um, to finish it so I'm feeling pretty good about this is it the best possible job no but you know what the end result is gonna beat what I had before and that's good enough for me I'll talk to you later thanks for watching you guys bye hey it's me and guess what Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.